assessment. And they were saying she needed two visits a week for a number of weeks. So she's really improved so much that it only took 30 minutes. Well, she's right here. She can come over and say that. So I'd be happy tell it to, to her. It with her. Yeah, she's right here. Say hi. No, say hi, Fritzy. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Yes. Yeah, I am very upset because when I come out, I am expecting even less than an hour. You said 30 minutes to 45. I accept that if that is your policy, but. You have to give the clients satis satisfaction, right? So to the maximum of the hours that I need, I have very much in pain, but I say, when you give me those two sets of exercises and two sets of massage, I don't feel I'm satisfied, honestly. Well, that is why I go there to have some more, a, like more knowledge about what the fish shoe is about, and I I want to get more exercises that I can do it in my home. But then I was really upset for this two exercise that I just finished for thirty minutes, and I'm paying sixty dollars. Yeah, I told you, when I do exercise, when I do exercise, I don't have that much pain. So you can give me more than two. Yes, I understand what's your point on me, but the problem there, if that is your specific time that you have to give to your customer or your client, you have to give that not exactly $60 for that period of time. You have to listen the payment for that period of time that it's not really exactly the 45 minutes that I will be, I am there. Yeah, but the lady at the front desk. The lady desk. In the first time, listen to me. The first time I was there, I asked how much is the charge. The lady told me the first visit is more than an hour with the assessment. The second visit is an hour with those massages and exercises. That is what I'm expecting today. Okay, so that's clearly communication, all right? So you toss in the front lady uh, to the wolves. I'm very upset no, because I trust you. I, I I like your 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 clinic. That is why I go there. It's close to my job where I come out. I can go right away there. I am hoping this week, supposed to be, I am hoping this week to come and see you on Friday or Saturday. I will call to book an appointment, but then when I come out, I'm upset. Yes, I, I'm sorry, sorry to but ma'am, ma'am, can I ask one question? When the miscommunication was entirely on the shoulders of your staff member, how does that become Fritzy's problem? No, I'm not saying it's Fritzy's problem. Well, no, she had to pay $60. Yeah, I'm thinking your front desk is, your front desk also critis, ma'am, ma'am, your front desk also criticized me for being rude to her, 
And when I asked her how I was rude because I did not raise my voice or use bad words, she said, well, because you told me I wasn't of any help to you. And I says, well, ma'am, you were not of any help to me. Yeah, but when you have a staff member telling a patient certain information, that behooves you to actually follow what that staff member said because it's your staff member. Right. So I will, I will have a discussion with the staff Is Fritzy getting her money back? So even though your staff member said 60 minutes and she got 30, you feel no obligation whatsoever to Fritzy? No, 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 no. Your staff member did. Your staff member. If one of my staff members says something to one of my customers, I have to go with it because that's what my staff member said. Well, I'm, I understand they're going to give me a call tomorrow. No, I understand they're going to give... Ma'am, I understand your office manager is going to call me tomorrow. Yes, because she's already left. Yes. So, we'll... I will leave a message for her to call and discuss with her. But as a treating therapist, this is all I can offer you. Beyond this, we have to be discussed with the Well, thank you for your clarification. I do not agree with it in any way, shape, or form. And I will, of course, be telling everybody that slows down long enough for me to tell them about it, the whole story. But... Well, I know it's fine. Oh, she's never coming back to you I'm not guys. coming back anymore. Because if for that $60... You have to, when you treat somebody, your client, to below the minimum, below the maximum, you have to listen your price charge. Honestly, it's not worth it. Okay. Uh, and I if she would have been told this up if front. If there's a remarks there, I will remarks at negative. That's okay. You speak to the office manager. We'll take your feedback. And uh, uh, Yeah, well, I would suggest you train your staff a little better or stand up to what your staff says. Yeah, 60 bucks for 30 minutes. And yet you offer a one-hour massage for $64. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Ah, lies, lies, everybody lies. Okay. So we didn't tell her about the video, of course, because we don't want the ma the manager to know about the video. And hopefully, I'll have the camera handy when she calls. Okay. So you guys can watch that segment too.